So today I thought I'd share with you um, a project that I've been working on over the last couple of weeks, which is the preparation of a really early uh, rhino called a hyracodon. Now, before I explain what one of these is, I thought I'd show you the, uh, the nodule itself. As you can see, when I got this from a local collector from South Dakota, actually one side of it has already been prepped out, but unfortunately there's quite a lot of, uh, of, of damage. There's, there's not as many teeth as you'd normally expect to see exposed, and I suspect that was the side which have been weathering out. However, <clears throat> as you can see from the other side, there's, uh, there's, a, there's another side to this skull, which I'm hoping is preserved on the, uh, on the underside here. And I'm hoping that that's in better preservation. I've spent a bit of time uh, with some big pens just shaking off the chunks of matrix. And we're at a point where we're starting to get down to some of the bone being exposed here. And I'm hoping we'll see the teeth coming through where I'm just pointing. So it's going to be a bit of pen work uh, to get down to that. But I'm, I'm hopeful uh, that we'll get some good results. By way of um, a bit of comparison, I do have another Hyracodon skull, which I, I prepped many years ago. And as you can see with this one, although it's missing most of the top of the skull, sadly, it's got a great set of teeth um, on both sides of this, uh, where you can see what we're kind of missing from the front side of the skull that we're about to prep. But the, the idea is that hopefully, on the side which uh, hasn't been prepped yet, which I'm about to prep in this video, we'll get to see um, hopefully some teeth that look a bit like that um, on the underside here. So to give you an example of what a hyracodon might have looked like, here's a paleo illustration by Heinrich Harder, and I've got one in a second by Charles Knight. And it shows you what these early uh, rhinoceros family looked like. They were much slenderer in the legs. Um, they still had big skulls, but they were hornless. And they lived about 30 million years ago during the Oligocene. And the skull that I'm about to prep out comes from the Brule Formation in, uh, in South Dakota. So let's give a go at, at, at prepping this out in time lapse.
So there we have it. We've now finished the uh, skull on the unprepped side, and this is what was underneath it. Much better preservation than the than the other side. You can see a full set of upper molars are on this skull. Some of the lower molars are, are, are missing at the very front, but it also has quite a number of cervical uh, neck vertebrae coming out of the uh, of the back of the skull. This is the side that was already prepped. I've cleaned that up a bit, but obviously that was the side that was probably weathering out a little bit more, hence why a few more teeth are missing. Um, it's a nice 3D skull, doesn't have a lot of distortion. And overall, I think it makes a, a really nice display piece. So again, this is a, an early kind of rhino ancestor um, called a hyracodon. Um, and, uh, and thanks very much for watching.